My name is Akira Saito. I work for a design company. I'm an ordinary salesman. Recently, I've been having a hard time raising my numbers. I'm telling you, you're not good at making documents. I don't care how friendly you are and how well you get along with people. If you can't convey the quality of the service, it's all useless. Uh, what? Is that bad? I thought I was doing pretty good. Who uses rainbow-colored fonts nowadays? First of all, we're a company that sells designs. If the materials are not good enough, people will think our products are not good enough. Seeing is believing, right? First of all, you need to reevaluate the materials you've created. Oh no. <laughs> it's true. Your clothes are also so ugly. Shigeru. You're at the bottom of the class. You have no sense of style or talent. How could you get into a design company? Oh, what? That's too much. This is Shigeru, my senior in the same sales department. I'm always being teased by him, but I'm sure he's a good talker and a good salesman. I want to learn from him as much as possible. Uh, you know, I'm going to ask you one thing. Can you teach me how to make good materials? You idiot, I don't have time for you. I mean, if you want advice, go talk to our designer, not me. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> true. Since there is a person who works as a designer, I should ask him for advice. Okay, I'll introduce you to the person who can do the best job. Are you serious? Uh, th thank you. Well, the only thing that's good about her is her work. She has a bad attitude and is not very friendly. She's a super shady and insidious woman. I don't know if she'll teach you properly. What? She has a nice face, but she's grumpy and not friendly at all. She has no friends nor boyfriend. That's what Shigeru Senpai told me. But in order to improve my performance, I have to change the situation in some ways. I can't really do anything myself, so I decided to go talk to her. Um, excuse me, is Shizuka Nishizono from the design department here? Oh, that girl. She said she would listen to what you have to say, but I don't know if she'll take you seriously. I don't know. She never smiles. She always has a dark look on her face. She's very good at her job, but... Oh, it seems that the people around her don't think very well of Nishizono-san. Nice to meet you, Nishizono-san. Thank you for taking time for me today. No, not at all. Thanks to your sales staff, the world can see our work. Uh, he was right. She is super scary. She doesn't smile at all. And contrary to her words, she looks like she doesn't like me at all. I'm good at talking to people, and I've been told I'm good at smiling, but I've never seen anything like this before. That's what I thought. So, if we change the position of this image here, the point of view will be here. Even if the text is a little dull, the customer should not mind so much. The materials that Saito-san gives to his clients are the newest information. I'm sure you'll have to make changes every time. But it must be hard for you to rewrite the materials every time. So don't take time on the text so much, but focus on the image's position and size. It's not too much work, but it should be attractive enough without too much effort. I see! Just by changing this part, it'll look different. Oh, she's giving me very accurate advice. Since she's a creator, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to understand her explanation. But it's so easy to understand. She gives me concrete directions and what to do specifically. She is thinking from a salesperson's point of view. I thought she was scary, but it's just that she's not that expressive. She's a nice person. Thank you very much, Nishizono-san. That's very helpful. 
With your help, I can make a much better document. Mm, no, this is my job. Oh, I knew it. I guess she didn't like it. Oh, uh, are you, are you smiling? Mm. Could it be that this person is unfriendly because, uh, I don't know why I'm asking you this, but you're quite shy, aren't you? Mm. I'm sorry. I know I look weird. What? I don't think so. It's not that. Uh, but it's cute. What? Oh my god, I was just being honest. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be rude. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean to be rude by asking you this, but are you trying to not smile? Well, when I was in junior high school, one of the older students told me my smile is distorted and weird. Since then, I don't know how to smile. And I can't show a distorted smile and make them feel uncomfortable. So, I try not to smile. Oh no. If you keep holding back like that, it's just too painful. Besides, I didn't think so at all when I saw your smile. Rather, for the first time, I was relieved to see you smile. R really? It's true. Can you try to smile again? Like this? I see. I understand. You're just not good at fake smiling. Fake smiling? Yeah, just now, you didn't really laugh, right? When you talked with the senior, you were very nervous, weren't you? Maybe, yes. You were really nervous, but you might have tried your best to smile. When you tried a fake smile, you might look a little worried. But when you truly laughed, it was a very nice smile. So don't worry about it at all. When you want to laugh, just laugh, okay? It's true that a fake smile may be somewhat necessary to live, but who would smile at the moment of death, right? Hmm. Ah, oh, I'm sorry for being like this to someone I've never met before. <laughs> Indeed. I guess you're right. Ah. Uh. Hey, that's it now. That's great. Great. Oh, oh no. I'm so embarrassed. And to suddenly change yourself, it must be difficult. Yeah, you're right. She's been holding back from smiling all this time because she was told that her smile is weird. Then, why don't you try to be natural in front of me? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to laugh. But when you think something I say is funny, I want you to show it on your face. I'm still in sales, after all. I have confidence in what I say. If you do that, it will of course be easier for you. And, of course, people around you will be happy to see you smile. And it will be easier for them to talk to you. But, but I can't cause trouble for Saito-san. I've been taking your time to prepare the materials. I wanted to thank you in some way. I'm sure you'll continue to help me in the future. I'd like to do something for you. Would you like to do it? Well, if you insist that much. Every time we met for work, we became friends through casual conversation. At first, I did most of the talking, but little by little, Nishizono-san started to tell me about herself, and she started to smile a lot more than before. Saito, you've been working hard lately. Your documents are getting much better. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, Akira. Oh, Shigeru. Nishizono-san helped me out a lot. I've been able to improve my sales material. Thank you for introducing me to her. Oh, don't get carried away just because your performance has improved a little. That woman, Nishizono, she's suddenly become very cheerful and pretty lately, hasn't she? Seems she's very popular in the department as a beautiful woman. 
What? Well, I recognized her before. I've always approved of her. She's always been good at what she does. Uh-huh. Now, Shizuka, even in front of other people, can smile naturally, and her reputation around here seems to have improved a lot. Thanks to you, Akira-san. Many people started to talk to me. I'm really happy every day now. Thank you very much. Oh no, I was just talking. You are a nice person to begin with, so I didn't really do anything. Oh no, you are a better person than me. You're cheerful and friendly. I... I... Hmm? N no. Anyway, the reason I was able to change is you have helped me to change. So, I want to talk to you again. I'll be happy to help you as well. Yeah, of course. I'm glad Shizuka-san can get along with everyone. You know, that smile she shows? Uh, I'm a little sad to think that I'm not the only one who sees that now. <laughs> no, no, what am I thinking? We're only involved with each other because of work. We don't have that kind of relationship. Hey. That Nishizono is that Nishizono Shizuka, right? That's Shigeru and uh, Nishizono-san. What? It's me, Shigeru. Kitagami Shigeru, one senior in your middle school. Ah! Uh. I thought I'd seen you somewhere before. I didn't think it was that Nishizono. No, you're so beautiful, but... Your smile was so creepy. E yes. Oh, that's it. That's really creepy. Ugh. You're made of good material, so smile properly. Oh, and you should go out with me. You've been looking cute lately. I'll let you be with me. B but I... What? You don't like it? I'm the popular salesman, you know. You're gonna ruin our business performance and destroy our company? I'll tell the boss that your designs suck and don't sell. Please stop it, Shigeru! Uh, uh Akira-san. What? Akira? What are you following me for? Are you stalking me? What you just said is a threat! God damn, don't be so insidious! Uh, Akira-san, thank you. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. It's my senior's fault. And mine. Uh, I couldn't stop when you were told something like that. What? I like you, Shizuka-san. I've liked you from the first time I met you. I love your smile. Ha! <laughs> Akira-san, I'm glad. I've always liked you too, Akira-san. Really? Yes. I'm so happy. I'm about to cry. Oh, don't cry. Smile. Come on. Smile, smile, smile. <laughs> After that, everyone found out about Shigeru's bad behavior, and he was demoted if not fired. Apparently, he often received complaints from the clients. I hope he takes this opportunity to reflect on his past. For better or worse, he's well-connected. And us. I wonder if my clothes are that lame. Hmm, I think it's nice, but I'm sure you'll look even cooler if you try on something else. I'd like to see it. I see. <laughs>